Okay, next game is uh, Cassis versus Kuzubov. Yeah, I noticed when you have a lot of games lined up in analysis, it always puts white at the bottom if you leave. So I had black at the bottom when black was doing well, but it just puts white at the bottom. Okay, now this position is better for uh, black because white has an isolated pawn. And even though black has a backward pawn on e6, white's king is a little exposed um, and black's bishop is better than white's. So black has a pretty nice advantage. And here we have somebody rated about 2300 with white and we have a very strong grandmaster with black. And so normally people who aren't super GMs don't necessarily defend very accurately. That's not their strong suit defending. Their strong suit is beating class players and losing to GMs. So you got to do what you're good at. This guy's good at losing to GMs. So you know, do what he was good at. Got to do something. Okay. So black played the obvious Bishop F6 attacking the F pawn. In fact, I actually wonder um, why Black's Bishop was on D8 to start with, like how that happened. Uh, I have the game score. It looks like Black played Bishop D6 to C7 D8. Uh, why did he do that? Nobody knows. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, okay, so in this position, white has um, uh, two moves that I think are normal, assuming he doesn't want to hang his pawn with Chuck. One is to defend his pawn. Bishop c3 makes more sense than bishop e3, since I just take the bishop out of e3 and win. And the other is knight e5. And I'm thinking... If I was white, I think I would just play knight e5 because I don't... I, I, why not? If he takes the knight, I, I get rid of my isolated pawn. Now, it turns out, tactically, knight e5 is better than bishop c3. But even if it wasn't, if I didn't calculate anything, I'd still play knight e5. Where, where else is my knight going to go? I'm going to let him attack my pawn forever? My knight's not going to go here. It's not going to go here. It's 95. Seems good. And the engine says after 95, black is up 0. 0.6, which seems fair. Bishop takes, gifted a sub to chess, chess, ch Okay. All right. So here white blundered. And when you blunder against really high-rated players, then they punish you. You play bishop c3. And this actually loses the game immediately. Um, and probably the reason he didn't see Black's forced win is Black has to do things that are anti-positional to win. And so Yasser wouldn't like that. But obviously if it wins a lot of material, then Yasser would change his mind. And this is a problem... A lot of the old players have, you know, like Yasser and Kasparov and Karpov and me. Not that I'm in their league, but I mean, just I'm old. I'm not as old as them, but I'm trying. Um, is when you have a good understanding of strategical chess, often you don't look at moves that don't make any sense strategically and positionally. And lower rated players don't care about that. They don't know what that is. And younger players also don't care about that, but for a different reason. Lower rated players don't know what positional strategical means, so they often play moves that I wouldn't suspect. And young players who are very strong, they know that it's more important to calculate tactics, and sometimes 
the positional move isn't the move that wins tactically. So I think that's why White missed Black's next idea because the move doesn't make any sense um, from a strategical point of view. So it's easy to miss. And unfortunately for White, it wins tactically. So if he calculated the tactics, he wouldn't play bishop c3. Uh, thanks, Pinky Jim. Yeah. Okay. So, right. So low-rated players, basically the only move they look at is knight c3. That move doesn't make sense, and that's why they're low-rated. But it turns out in this position, knight takes c3 wins tactically. And knight takes c3 is a terrible strategical move because it gets rid of this great knight for this terrible bishop, and it unisolates this pawn, and it leaves this pawn under attack. So except for the fact that black wins immediately, this is a silly move. And that's probably why white missed it. Takes, takes, and then as was pointed out in the chat, Rook takes c3. And if black doesn't play rook takes c3, then knight knight here doesn't make any sense. We've solidified this pawn. We've weakened this pawn. We got rid of our great knight. That bishop was stupid. But okay, now white's position collapses. So the game ended immediately because white played bishop c3 instead of playing knight e5 and losing in 40 more moves, probably. Instead, he lost in two moves. What a lot of people do to avoid getting better at chess is they rationalize, well, I didn't see knight c3, rook c3, but my game was bad anyway. And that's, that's not, you know, I mean, it's a blunder bishop c3. It's a terrible move. And it loses immediately. And white resigned here. Because if white takes the rook, obviously he loses his queen. But if he doesn't take the rook, he's, he's going to, I mean, his knight's attacked and this is attacked and this is, you know. So it, it doesn't really matter what he does. He's getting destroyed. <clears throat> and the engine says black is up 6.5. That's the weak engine. Uh, homomorphic 9 subscribe. Charlotte Chess Center gifted five subs. Uh, or if, yeah, and then I'd like to point out something I learned today that I probably should have known a long time ago. Uh, Charlotte Chess Center, aka Peter Giannatos, aka Peter Giannatos, uh, he he just had a book published by New in Chess about teaching chess and learning chess and lessons and so forth. So you need to buy that book. Um, Basically, everybody needs to buy it, whether you teach kids or you're learning yourself. Um, it has a lot of lessons and and so forth. Seems like a great book. So so buy that book. Do as I say and so forth. But yeah, congratulations, Peter. I didn't know you were having a book published by, by doing chess. Yeah. What's the book called? Only Charlotte Chess Center Knows. Yeah, it's called Heart. See? Yeah. If you never heard of chess, still buy the book. That's right. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you've heard of chess. Just buy the book. Do as I say. Yeah. Yeah, of course you can post a link. Although, you know, I don't know how to give you permission technically. Karen or some other mod, or mod can do that. Or, yeah, you could you could also send me the link and I'll, and I'll I can do it. You could... Private message me the link on somehow. Move by remove timeout. What? Yeah, I don't know how to let you post a link. I don't know how to give you permission. Maybe Karen knows. Yeah, if somebody knows how to let it. Okay, now you can post it because Karen said so. Yeah. Yeah, aren't you a VIP or something? Can't you just do it anyway? Just posted. What? I didn't see it. Where, where is it? Because you tried to post it and Mubak got mad at you. Just posted. I don't see it. Champ 1977. Thanks for the sub. 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let me VIP him. Okay, now you're a VIP. I don't know if you can post now, like, without me helping you. But it can't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, buy that book. Do as I say. Yeah. 